Jean here from Chile Alternative Therapies. I'd like to demonstrate some craniosacral for you today. Um, so we're going to start with the head and we're going to do maybe the 10 step protocol. Um, this lady has uh, some neck issues and we're going straight into a natural unwind. Not all cranial people do the unwinding. I do it because I find it very beneficial. Okay, now we have full rotation to the left and a nice long stretch down the neck here. It's an ideal opportunity to use trigger points if somebody's neck is very bad I can come in with just trigger points there and release. And what you'll see sometimes is my hand shakes when I'm releasing an energy block. Now do you feel the tightness that are burning anywhere? Not too bad. Today. Not too bad today. No. And then with the body, I'm not actually turning or twisting this. Her her body is leading me into the positions that okay. her head wants to be in. What happens when you are moving? Uh, it has a lovely slow movement, and it creates a release. So when this lady felt that some little thing was unkinking itself inside, basically, if I'm to put it in plain language. That's what I feel happens. Um, it's like her body communicates with my hands. They have a language of their own. So I don't always have words for what's happening. But that's why it's brilliant to get the feedback from the client. Now she's going into a beautiful extension. How does that feel in your body? Grand. Comfortable. Yeah. Even it looks very uncomfortable. It's extremely comfortable. I had a baby here yesterday now that was three weeks old and the parents couldn't believe what an extension it went into and the little hands went out and went off to sleep in this position because it was due to a very rapid delivery so it needed, it didn't get all the extension that it required being born. That's lovely, lovely and slow, lovely and gentle. That's what's so beautiful cranial. Cranial is just such a gentle, gentle movement and yet very it's profound. Fun tightness there now again. You're feeling the tightness again. Lovely. So when we get a tightness, we hold, we wait. It's like we create a resistance and then with the resistance it goes back into its place. Lovely. And how's that now? That's fine now again. No bother with that twist. No. Lovely. And in each case, we just wait for her body to direct me in what direction it's to go. A lot of the time, the client thinks I'm doing the moving and find it hard to believe they're actually dictating the pace. How's that? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. Now, we'll just check the alignment all the way down the spine. And it feels even and nice on both sides. Beautiful. We'll check the sphenoids. Like it's the weight of not even I'd say what our, our, our pennies are. You don't put any more pressure than that in an area. Let me check. You have a big flap of, of muscle going across the base of the skull and sometimes if that's not the tentorium it's called if that's not straightened out like I'm doing now it can cause a little bit of havoc with the messages going down along the spine so you need to pull out all the wrinkles and just create the flap it's usually a nice feeling okay then we check the rhythm that is all oh, very nice. The parietals are moving beautifully. They say all our bones are connected and that they don't move but actually there's a fascia underneath these and they are moving. <laughs>